<laughs> Are you exaggerating? No. Oh no? no. I thought you were doing that. <laughs> it's like pretty bumpy. I think this wheel is out of true. What's up, Rad Fam? Thanks for joining us today. I know these are some weird times, but just wanted to tell you that the vlog will continue on. We wanted to keep sharing our journey with you, and hopefully, this will provide some sort of escape from the craziness that is self isolation and quarantine life. Oh, and by the way, in this vlog, we do kind of complain about the roads and cycling in the US a little bit, so sorry about that. It's a little negative. But hey, things happen and we want to be honest about our feelings, so we didn't edit that out. And yeah. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. We got to be real still. So hopefully you guys still enjoy the vlog. Give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying it. Subscribe for more videos. And also leave us a comment and tell us what kind of video you would like us to make. I do have a long list of videos that have been requested. But hey, request it again because the more I see it, the more likely I am to make that video. Our goal is to get more people bicycle touring, seeing the world by bike, because we think that's the best way to see the world after all this passes, of course. You don't want to go out right now. So stay at home, watch some videos. Hopefully we can make some videos to help you get prepared for that future tour. Because hey, we're going to be okay, and we're going to keep bicycle touring, and we're going to keep bike packing and just riding our bikes, right? Like, at least we can still do that right now. Maybe not, maybe not this tiny one. It would take me a long time to get anywhere. But that's it for now. Talk to us down in the comments and go ride your bike where there's not a lot of people. And all right, we'll see you in the vlog. <laughs> we will train our dogs to love the bicycle as much as us. Okay, continuing on our journey, we head to the super rad city of Olympia, Washington, where we were able to hang out with my cousin and his family and have an absolute blast of a time. And let's talk about this fun event. All right, we'll get to that later. But for now, let's back up a bit. Who has the best, you know, grilled cheese sandwich? And then I get up early and I make maple bars. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I get a little tired of it. All right, we were gonna take a boat, but we can't find the keys to the boat. So now we're we're borrowing a car from Stacy, who's so kind to offer us her mode of transport for the day. If she needs to, all the way. We're going all the way. All the way. Look at this. We've packed another another bike and car situation here. Look at that. Plenty of space. Plenty. You could come along, so Stacy. <laughs> no, you. go. You're out. We're back! TJ's, what's up? <laughs> My favorite store. I used to work here. Not biased at all. Oh, feels like I'm home again. Officially now. All right, we found some goodies. Plantain chips, cheese crunchies. We've been dreaming of these cheese crunchies. We got some Cliff Bars, Hemp Bars. We got some New, Ze New Zealand cheese. And uh, the Omega Mix, that's a, a good go-to. And all right, we're gonna zip a little further along and then hop out. And I think we still have to ride about 55 miles and it's almost 11, so that should be. There's enough daylight, we'll be all right. All right, Sharon just helped us load our bicycles back up, put them all back together out of the car. We're good, we went to Trader Joe's. See ya! They're interested in our trip too. I have to say, Americans are really outgoing and friendly. Like if you go by on a touring bicycle, you will probably have someone stop you and ask you what you're doing, what you're up to. Yeah, we're, I guess we're friendly like that or just curious and willing to ask, which I think is cool. Bye! Ah! Look what I got! Hi Viz! She wasn't in the mood to wear it, so I was like, can I wear the jacket? The vest? How do I look? Visible. Yeah. Highly. Highly visible. Oh, look at these trees. Oh, I'm so glad that we skipped kind of the 
part of the riding on the on the main road with a lot of traffic. This is way more chill. Still some cars, but not even close to what it was like back uh, near Bainbridge. We are on Belfair Valley Road heading towards Olympia. We got dropped off right by Bremerton. So good stuff, good stuff. Thanks again, Sharon. in New Zealand and Australia there's hardly any population and in Canada too there's a lot of open space but here it's just like house 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 there's just houses everywhere I'm like I don't even know where I can pull up to go to pee and it's kind of funny because people always ask us like oh cycling in Australia weren't people like shouting things at you and cutting you close and we didn't have that experience too much maybe it was the area we were in I don't know but we've already had more experiences in the U.S. Yeah. than we did in Australia. Like being yelled at or... Yeah, being flipped off. I didn't see it, but apparently some dude, he honked at us and then flipped us off for like a minute. <laughs> a lot. And just Who now, knows? someone just shouted something at us, yeah. just driving by. Who knows what? I don't know. People are weird. But <laughs> yeah, that's a common one. So, I don't know, guys. There's a lot of big, big pickup trucks here. Big trucks. Like, these trucks are way bigger than any of the trucks in Aussie. Those utes are like mini utes compared to mm -hmm. ours. Like so, to I wouldn't say things. like, don't let that stop you from going to Australia, because it's in the US, too. So. <laughs> and I think it's worse here. Right. Yeah. We're going to stay positive. A lot of, it's just all trucks. Just trucks. So, we'll hope to get to that other little road, and it should be a little bit more enjoyable then. any of 
leave the signs. None. Okay, we get to add get a job to the list of things people are shouting at us. Pretty sure that's what they said. Get a job! Followed by someone with a Trump sticker angrily honking at us. Nice. Oh, so good to be back. Well, this will be fun. We get to go on the freeway. Oh yes, the 101, here we go. to stay on the highway on the 101 because we've actually found that it's better than being on the side roads because we actually have a wide shoulder and we're not getting honked at or sideswiped and yeah we just kind of want to get to where we're going there's less cars wider shoulder we'll take it yeah just get us to olympia just get us there so yeah, we're going to Olympia because my cousin lives there and we love hanging out with him and his family. This isn't on the adventure cycling route. Oh, there's a little holler. Someone rolled down their window. They rolled down their window to yell at us. It's weird. a puppy escort. Come on, Wilson. Come on. Come on. Well, and Andrea, my cousin's wife. She's helping us uh, find the way as well. But puppy. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Show us the way. Show us the way. <laughs> What's going on, pup? So here we are, we're at my cousin's house in uh, Washington State in Olympia, and we're just hanging out here. They're gonna have a little barbecue party today, so that's cool, on this rainy day Sunday. Still beautiful though, right? Wow. I love this place. Oh. <laughs> that just happened. It's gonna be in the vlog. Where are you going? The meat is cooking. This is insanity. Oh, I look and it's going two different ways. What? Oh my gosh, this is a crazy sun shower. Sun shower. Meredith Morgan, would you like to be in the vlog? Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, what? First, first, cousin, first cousin once, once removed. Because you're my dad's cousin. That's right. And if you were to have first a child, cousin once removed. then they would be the second cousin. Yeah, okay. second cousin. Okay. All right. So Henry and Meghan are my second cousin. Okay, right. That makes sense. You're good at that. So while in Olympia, we went for walks, we ate great food, we hung out, of course playing a lot with the puppy Filson. And then this happened. Oh. <laughs> uh, hi. So what's happening? Um, I got stung by a wasp again, this time in this toe. And it's, this is day three. So apparently I'm allergic. So maybe the sting in Australia wasn't an ant bite. It was just a bee sting that got a serious allergic reaction from me. I was never allergic to bees when I was a kid. Oh, mm. I was getting annoyed. He's like, why are you talking so much? But it's so itchy, I haven't been able to sleep. Like, I've been sleeping in like 
hour bursts until I wake up because I think I'm like trying to scratch it in my sleep even though I have it encased in like ice. Yeah, good times. I'm still trying to post the vlogs, guys. So woo, give us a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> How'd it oh. work? But never mind that. More delicious food. explored a bit of the city, which is what I'm about to show you now. Cruising through Olympia, heading to the downtown area. Oh, that makes sense. 1984 before the Olympics. Super cool. So that's why it's called Marathon Park. Hey. Alright. So this would be another good place to come. Uh, Andrea has told us nothing but great things and I love all the inclusive posters on the wall so looks super cool. Nice. These two. Look at these two. Look at these two. What's that? What's that? It's not as tasty or fun as a tennis ball. Ooh, good catch. happening again. Just, just dogs, always. Confirmed, super cool. We went inside. The place is awesome. The owner, uh, Lizzie, I believe it is. Cool gal. Super helpful. Really, really cool shop. They do a lot of repairs in there and not just selling new bikes. They do that too. But I just think that is awesome when you can take a bicycle, bring it back to life, give it some personality. And yeah, I'm stoked on that place. What did wow, you what did great, Darren. Holy crap. What did you want to say about Darren? Oh, they can't Darren, see you. I'm a campfire cooking expert. Woo! Yay. I can't see you at all, but yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's awesome. But she is. You want you want a sticker? Sticker? Oh no! 
don't eat the sticker. Oh, we didn't think you'd actually eat it, but you did. Red.